Hey y'all, hey, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Halls and more. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new here, please think about subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you're notified every single time your girl uploads a new video. Yes, I'm playing with my hair. I do it all the time. Anywho, um, also, if you want to or if you'd like to be nice, give me a thumbs up. Um, it really helps out my channel. And make sure to comment below um, with which one of my finds in this haul was your favorite find. So I do have a little bit of a collective haul, but before we jump into that, I do want to say um, really quick that um, probably the like majority of you, if not all of you, are already followers of my sweet friend Frugal J. But if you guys could please say some prayers for her as her son was in a motorcycle accident about a month ago and he is currently still in the ICU. Um, he is slowly starting to respond to things, but it's very slow. But it all happens in God's time, as we all know. Um, also, if you guys are not subscribed to her, please think about doing so. It really helps her out. And if you guys can watch the videos with the ads, without skipping the ads, it will help her earn some revenue as she's not working right now because of the situation at hand. she's She lives in Florida, however, she's currently in Chicago because that's where her son resides. Um, and then there is a GoFundMe link. I always, I keep forgetting to link it in my descriptions. I'll try to remember to do it for this video. Um, otherwise, if you go check out Frugal J, she'll have it in her descriptions and as well as Everything Mari, because e Mari from Everything Mari set up the GoFundMe. Okay, you guys, so that's it. Um, I do want to address one comment I seen pop up from the Dollar Tree haul I had posted. I don't know if I should take it as a joke or not, so I'm just going to address it real quick. It said something along the lines of, I don't know how you do these videos all the time. And then I looked in the right corner and I see, because this is the little bar stand here. Yes, we drink in this house. Do I drink to the point of daily? No. Do I have to um, drink before I got on camera? No. <laughs> we just, um, we are social drinkers in this household. It is what it is. We like to drink a couple here and there. Sometimes I drink a couple after work just to, you know, relax or whatever. So, yeah, that's the explanation of that. But I do drink, I did pick up something new. Never seen this before. The Chi Chi's Pink Lemonade Margarita. Um, mix. It says made with tequila and triple sec liqueur, zesty and sweet, sweet. Oh my gosh, sweet pink lemonade meets premium tequila and triple sec for a delicious, perfectly blended margarita, blend with ice. So I figured we'd give that a whirl one of these days, especially being um, today's Friday. 22nd April 22nd this will be posted Saturday April 23rd the weather today was a little spotty rain and like in the 60s okay fine mind you at the beginning of the week it was snowing um tomorrow's supposed to be 82 degrees so yeah okay let's get into the haul I only have two things from Aldi's a few things from Dollar General and then I hit the mother load in terms of clearance at Walmart um, so let's just uh, get into this real quick. Being as we were talking about this a little stand here full of the alcoholic beverages, I saw this sign at Aldi's. It was $4.99, and I hum and hawed about it. I was sitting, like, next to the cash registers. They had a display of them. And I, I just said, forget it. I'm going to get it. So it's a reversible shadow box sign. One side says, sip and repeat. And the other one says, never chase anything but drinks and dreams. Well, that wanted to come off, apparently. Oh, that's just the tag. So here's the one side, which you set up vertically with the never chase anything but drinks and dreams. And then this side is horizontal, and it says sip and repeat. And the sip is um like 3D. It's extra wood. So I thought that'd be cute to go on my little bar stand over here. I y'all like to talk about it. And then the only other thing worth, like, showing, it was a clearance item. It was from Easter. It's the specialty selected chocolate truffle eggs imported from Germany. I only paid $1.99 for these. They were originally five bucks. You get a strawberry rhubarb, a raspberry vanilla, fruit cocktail with chocolate cream, mixed fruit jelly with vanilla cream, cherry with mousse, a chocolate, and lemon with mousse, a chocolate. I don't even know if that's how you say that, but 
here's what the box looks like. I just thought those looked really interesting. There's the back. I don't even want to read this. Actually, it doesn't have as many calories as I thought it was going to for one piece. It's 120 calories for two pieces, which is kind of surprising. The carbs are only 5%. Okay. Um, but yeah, I thought those were so fancy. So that's it from all these. Let's jump into Dollar General. I do have some Easter stuff from the Dollar General, simply because it was on clearance for 50% off. Sorry for the noise, you guys. Um... So, if I find stuff on clearance like that, I will always pick it up. And I'll share it with you guys. This is nothing on clearance. This was just some stuff down there, dollar aisles. So, <clears throat> Peyton is into drinking aloe water. If you're new here, Peyton's my 17-year-old, soon-to-be 18-year-old daughter. Um, so, I had found this aloe vio aloe vera drink with mango. You get 16.9 fluid ounces. Is it something on the label? Oh, yeah, I guess. Um, this was only a buck, so I figured she could try this, and she likes the other aloe water. It has, like, chunks of aloe in it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but she says it's good, so to each their own. I don't know. That kind of freaks me out with those chunks in it, and then I just picked up a bag of these original Boston baked beans. You get 4.5 ounces. This was a buck. Somebody recently hauled these. From Dollar General, no, from Dollar Tree, the box, like you would get at a movie theater. And that's, they had me craving Boston, Boston Big Man. I can't remember who it was now. And then, um, I just picked up my Sweet Smiles, which I'm pretty sure is a Dollar General brand. Chocolate covered raisins, because Peyton and I will snack on these from time to time. When we watch movies or whatnot or playing games. Okay, here's some of the Easter stuff I did pick up. Here's one of my receipts. If you got, I use the Fetch Rewards app. If you guys don't use it, what are y'all waiting for? It's free to use. And you get gift cards. Like, all you have to do is take a picture of your receipts. And then you get money back. So, yeah, why not? And you can get gift cards almost anywhere. Walmart, Starbucks, Amazon. The list is, like, forever. Anywho. Back to okay. This wasn't on clearance. This was at Dollar General, but I just thought it was too cute not to grab. It's a tabletop globe. It was three dollars and fifty cents. It is a miniature, and it's just white and gold. They had this version, and then they had one with the globe was black, and it had the like all the different colors on it. And I would hum and hawed, but I just like this one better. I think. I don't know. I like it. So there's that um, Easter stuff. So I got. The last two metal bunnies they had at this Dollar General, and they were originally five bucks, so I only paid two fifty. So this one's pink, and it has this little um, embossed texture on it, like vines or floral looking stuff. And I also picked up the other one they had, and it was green. It's green, and this was also five dollars originally, so I paid two fifty for this as well. They're pretty decent sized; they're about the length of my head and face. But they will probably get changed. I don't know. I'm not going to commit to anything. Because my Easter crafts, I did not even get. I only put out one video. Because that's literally all I got to with everything else that had happened since that video has been posted. And I posted that. We're not going to get into all that. But yeah, I, it was just a rough couple. It's been rough. <laughs> Anyways, they had some foam glitter bunnies. You get four in a pack. They're originally a dollar a piece, so I paid 50 cents each. And I just picked up the white ones. And they also had them in pink. And I want to say blue like that, but I just picked up the white ones. Because if I want to change them at any point in time, it'll be easier to cover than the colored ones. Uh, what's next in this bag? I didn't separate anything, you guys, really. So I apologize, but, you know, I... I do my shopping on Fridays and Saturdays while Peyton, my daughter's at work. So she started work at five today. I had to take a break, drive her to work, come back home, finish up my work, log out, and then I went running around. Then I had to stop at her work again at 8.30 tonight to, for her lunch break. And then I came home after I was done with that, so I sat with her till nine. Came home, unloaded everything, dealt with the animals, 
And now I'm hauling, and then I have to go pick her up from work at 11 o'clock. So, less than an hour from now. Anywho, um, I also found this really cute egg with a bunny coming out of it. And it's, like, got fluffy material right there. It was originally 5 bucks, so I paid two fifty. They did have two of these, but I only grabbed this one. I always feel like my makeup's smeared right there, but it's not. It's just a shadow for my eyes. Um, anyways... I just grabbed this one. I thought that was super cute how the little bunny is coming out. The egg and he's like, you know, probably looking to see if the dog's coming its way. Um, these are not clearance things. They were in the garden section. I just picked these up. I got this. They're just calling this a hanging, hanging bell. There's no, whatever. There's no bell on here. It was a dollar. But I got it because it's a bee and I am supposed to be doing... Some bee themed crafts for a collaboration. I'm going to take part in. God willing, everything goes my way. Uh, actually, in a couple weeks here. And then I grabbed these cute little insect pot hangers. So this one's a ladybug. And they're metal. So you would just hang it from the pot like that. Or use it for crafts or whatever. And then I grabbed a bumblebee as well. So... And these were a dollar a piece. So there you go. There's the tag. But those were cute. Two more Dollar General bags, and then we'll get into those stuff that you guys seen in my Ooh. thumbnail. Okay, more Easter. This might be it on Easter. Yeah, this is the last Easter thing. They had this sign it says egg hunt but i don't necessarily want to keep this for easter this is like really solid it was originally three bucks so i paid a dollar fifty for it um but i can use this for crafts if i want to tear it apart and change it up which i very well might do um and here i found some bathroom signs i thought were super cute and i like that it has like this leather hanger they were a buck a piece but this one says remember to flush in white and black and my bathroom is white and black and then this one says brush your teeth and this was also a dollar those are the only two options i saw at my dollar generals and then i just picked up these glass jars that have little chalkboards on the front for a dollar fifty and i just like them because they have these corks on them they're cute don't ask me what i'm doing with them because i never know um i did pick up these paper plates from the dollar section at dollar general they're just glad premium paper snack trays you get 10 of them because we were running low on paper plates even though i'm kind of i don't know i'm always on the fence about buying paper plates here and there because you're literally throwing your money away at the same time, if I don't, then I'm washing even more dishes than I already wash. It's like a catch-22. There's no winning. <clears throat> and then I picked up some toothpaste from the dollar section because it was a good deal. So you get four ounces in each of these boxes I'm fitting to show you guys, which is 60% more than usual. Because So usually you only get 2.5 ounces. So you're getting an additional 1.5 ounce. So this one is the baking soda and peroxide whitening and Frosty Mint Stripe Gel by Colgate. So I grabbed that one. And then I grabbed the Sparkling White Cinnamon with Cinnamon and Natural Mint Flavors. Colgate as well. These are all Colgate. And then the last one I picked up was the Baking Soda Sparkling White Mint Zing. Whitens and helps protect teeth from stains. So there is that. Okay, that's it from Dollar General, y'all. Now let's hit up the Walmart bags. Well, they're not Walmart bags. I use my reusable bags. Um, but you you know you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That. Um, this was not a clearance item. However, I bought a small version of this, which I forgot to haul in my last Walmart haul, which is fine. Um, it looked like one of those um, smaller one-wick candles you get from Bath and Body Works. 
for like 12 bucks or whatever. So I paid three bucks for it and it was called Juicy Watermelon. OMG, it smells amazeballs. So I picked up the biggest version of it they had. It was, uh, it's 19.25 ounces. And this was only, I got my receipt here so I can tell you guys. I wanna say, it was 7.97, which is still cheaper than what you'd pay at Bath and Body Works. Like at Bath and Body Works, I love, I absolutely adore their candles. They are the best candles on earth, if you ask me. But they're $24.50 the last time I bought them. A piece, they could be more by now with inflation happening. But oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, it just smells so good. And I like that it's a red frosted. And red isn't my color really, but I didn't care because I just love the smell of that. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure everything else I'm fitting to show you all is clearance. So, in the clearance aisle, they had these curtains. You get two panels in each, and they're 84 inches long, um, and I ended up buying three sets so for six curtains because my living room window, I have to put four curtains on at a time because it's so long. It's like a big picture window. And then, because my living room and dining room, it's like open concept between my living room and dining room, I end up doing, like, if, when I repaint... The dining room and living room will be painted the same color with the same color curtain. So I just picked up a total of six curtains or three packs in this pretty, it's like a cream and black pattern. And I liked it because it's got that boho feel, which is what I'm transitioning everything to in my home, little by little. And for $10.45 for two panels, you can't beat that, in my opinion. And there's really thick material, so... I figured, why not? That's it. No, okay. No. Oh, oh, oh. Before I get into this bag. Um, I do have a box of candles here that I bought. I bought six of them. Let's see? And I will tell you why I bought six of them. Because they were only a buck a piece. And they were originally $9.97. For one dollar. And I've had this candle before. And it smells amazing. It smells really good. And for a buck, yeah, it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. It's the tiara flower and sugar cane. I don't even know if I'm saying that word. I don't even know if you see that word right there. But it smells really good. So they had a whole display of them right outside the clearance aisle because they have overflow. So now they're having sections everywhere of clearance stuff. Um full of these candles so if I find them again I'll probably pick up more just to have in my stash of candles because they smell so good um so let's just do the thumbnail item <clears throat> that you guys have seen it's just you see how big this is look at how big, this is ginormous I don't like the colors no I don't and it's double sided which is amazing but not my colors. This says my happy place. This side says hello summer. However, I will rip this apart and redo it to my style. And oh yes, I just fell in love with it. Here's the best thing. It was $21.98. Now your girl will never pay full price for stuff. Especially for stuff like this when I know I can remake it myself. I got this because it was in the 75% off. So all their Easter and spring stuff. I don't want it to fall was on clearance for 75%. There was a lady working, so it was in the seasonal section. You know, when you first walk into a Walmart, they have that one section full of like three or four aisles of just seasonal stuff. There was a woman who works at Walmart down there organizing or whatever, and I said, are, and I asked her before I grabbed anything I'm fitting to show y'all. I said, are you sure this is 75% off? Because she said, if it's over there, it's 75% off. I said, even the decor. She said, even the decor, because we have so much of it, we got to get rid of it. So I went, I was like, you shouldn't have told me that. But I got, I paid for that humongous wood round, $5.49. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then I found this. This was the last one they had like this. It does need fixed. But that's easy. Some glue. And a clamp overnight, and it's done. I just love the colors in this, though. This peachy pink color. 
the wood. This was originally $16.98, y'all. What did I pay for that? Oh, it's here. I don't know if here. $4.24. It was $4.24. So, not a bad deal. And then I picked up this. Isn't that cute? All the succulents in there. Um, and it says, home is where you plant it. And it was originally $12.98. So, I only paid $3.24 for this. Like, look at the size of these things. And it's, like, got that whole boho vibe to it to me. Um, some... I don't... I love the phrase, the wording on here. The, the phrase on here. But I do not, I do not like how they did this. Um, but it says, where kindness blooms... Excuse me, love grows. It's like a pale purple. It looks kind of gray on camera. And then it's got this background with orange polka dots. This is a separate piece. This was originally $5.98. So I paid $1.49 for this. So that one's probably going to get changed. As will this one. <coughs> this one says everything blooms and big things start. It's the coral color. And then it's got flowers on that in the background. That is also an extra piece of wood there. This was originally $6.98. So I paid a dollar seventy four for this. But you guys know, if you've been part of my channel for a while, you know if I can find good pieces like this for a clearance, I don't need any more of this stuff. Trust and believe me. But to get that kind of quality at a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy four, even five dollars, I'm gonna pick it up when I can because those prices especially the dollar fifty dollars that's cheaper than Goodwill if I got a Goodwill all wood things now are anywhere from two ninety nine to three ninety nine period they don't care how big or small it is that's how much you're paying for it so I'm clearly getting better deals on clearance then I found this one says happiness blooms here this was actually a pioneer woman thing I'm not into the pioneer woman it's not my vibe but it's cute but I liked it for the shape and the quality and I can rip this off. This reminds me of my sweet, sweet Jay. This was originally $10.98. So your girl paid. I know we're just seeing this. Two. Yeah. $2.74 for that. $2.74. Originally $10.98. So love the shade of that. What else we got in here? Um, another Pioneer Woman thing, but hmm, this was originally $12.98. So I paid $3.24 for this. This is not my vibes. This is like in your face. Like, wah -wah. But I like the concept, okay? It's a cake stand or a riser, however you want to use it. I would it says not for food use, probably because of all this paint. I'm going to spray paint the crap out of this thing a whole nother color because this is no bueno to me. But the shell of it is gorgeous. So I had to get, they only had two left. So I left one and bought that one. They had a couple bee themed items. I only picked up, I think two. They had one long sign, but I, I clearly don't need it. And I don't know if I'm going to decorate anything with bees or just do the, the crafts and sell them or whatnot. Um, but this one was originally $5.98, so I paid $1.49 for it. And it just says Be Kind, and it's got the bee in the center with the little hexagon honeycomb type shape on it. Super cute. There's the original price. And here's the other bee themed thing. This was also $5.98, so I paid $1.49 for this. And this is a nice wood frame around it. And this is tin or metal. And it's got that B there. So maybe I will keep these how they are and use them for staging or whatnot when I do the B crafts. Because they're not bad pieces. They're really nice. Um, something else. 
<laughs> just these little tabletop decors that were originally $5.98, so I paid $1.49. This one says, slow down and suck it up. This is just a chunk of wood. It is hollow in the back there. And this is just a piece of metal that they screwed on it with tiny screws. So I can tear this apart if I want to use these for something else. But I thought this was cute. And then this one says Smarty Plants. I'm pretty sure these were the only two types they had. So, in my opinion, can't beat the prices. I got a bandage. I got a bandage. Okay. So, these two things I'm going to show you all is the last two things from the 75% off stuff from spring and Easter section. And then the little bit that's left in this bag will be from the clearance aisle, and then, then we'll be done. So I got these two cute little shadow box pictures. This one says, no rain, no flowers. It was originally $4.98, so I paid $1.24 for it. And this piece is separate. It's going to get changed. Here's the back. But for $1.24, one penny cheaper than DT. But it's still cheaper, and that's all that matters to me. And then this one says, I have enough plants, said no one ever. Same price, $4.98, so $1.24. Same concept. This is an extra piece of wood. There's the back of it. Perfect to use for crafts. Okay, back to the clearance aisle. Like the legit clearance aisle. They have this spray paint by Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer. This one is the matte sea green, and I picked it up because it was only $1.50, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the price of, um, brain fart, again, spray paint has gone off, gone off, gone up significantly, so why not? They had several cans of this, I probably should have grabbed two, but maybe I'll paint this with this and see what it looks like and go from there. Because it looks really light on camera. And it, I mean, it does look really light in person too. But it almost reminds me of the jade green. But it's this tinge white, like lighter. Um, this is actually new. However, they had to put this in the clearance section. Because the bottom portion of the steak is missing. So these were originally um, $9.98. And I paid $5.60 for this. Simply because it was missing the bottom steak. <coughs> I have steaks around there. And this is a solar light, and it's a pineapple. And Peyton is going to love this thing. I wish it wasn't a solar light just so she could use it in the house. Was it always oh, lit up? See? Can you guys tell? Can you guys see? Can I put it on the... No. Okay. Pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute. So, yeah, Peyton's going to love that when she sees it. Not fall any further. Okay. A couple more things, you guys. Um, by Body Ecology. This was originally $3.97. I paid $1.51. It's the spice pumpkin. So a couple hauls ago, I did pick up the body creams that were on clearance. And I got this scent and it smells good. So I just grabbed the spray beans. It was only $1.51 for this. And this was the only one they had left. So why not? And for a dollar, like yeah. Yep, smells good. It smells clean. I know, you guys. You know I'm a mess. I got a bench and all that fun stuff. Last couple things. They had an incense burner. It was originally a dollar, but I paid 60 cents for it. It's just a standard old incense burner. We burn incense occasionally. Well, Peyton does more than I do. Marcus bought her one of those ones with the cones, and then it's got, like, the smoke going down like a fountain. It's pretty neat. But for 60 cents, yeah, like, you can't beat that. And then I picked up a couple wooden houses that they had on clearance that were originally 98 cents, I think it says, or 88 cents. I got them for 67 cents a piece, so I just picked up the only two they had just to throw in the craft stash. You're a crafter and you find stuff that cheap, you're going to grab it. Then they had um, the rustic letters on clearance. The weirdest thing to me, though, is all of them were different prices. So I just picked up a Y-U-M to spell the word yum to make something maybe for the kitchen. The Y was 97 cents. 
The U was 68 cents. I don't know where they come up with these prices. And all of these were originally $1.14. And then the M was a dollar. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed spending 30 minutes with me. Um, and my craziness and my mess and all that good stuff. I am going to get off here, clean up this mess, go get Peyton, come home and chillax till I fall asleep. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, night, whenever you watch this, whatever, whatever. I love you all so much for spending some time with me. And don't forget to drop a comment below. Was was wish wish you wish you with which one of my finds is your favorite find in this haul today? Mwah! Talk to you guys soon!